Hey, good afternoon, YouTube. Yeah, Rod Ardman here. I can't believe it. Here it is. Our so-called beloved president. All right. The dictator of the United States is sending 3,000 troops to Africa to deal with a deadly disease all right, known as Ebola. 1918, the Spanish influenza came about here in the United States. Still, it's an open mystery to how it ever occurred. But, anyway, hundreds of thousands of people died from that disease. Now, what do you think is going to happen when you send 3,000 troops to Africa to deal with a deadly disease known to man, the most deadliest disease known to man? Don't you think that American soldiers are going to become contaminated with this disease? They say it's not airborne. Every cold, every um, influenza disease that's out there is an airborne virus. The cold, the flu, it is very airborne. All right, and you don't really have to touch doorknobs, you don't have to touch, you know, utensils or other items to catch this. All somebody has to do is be there and, you know, cough up their saliva and whatever you know other bodily bile functions that come out of their mouth you know um, into the midstream or into the midair and next thing you know you got it all they have to do is sneeze and you got it they don't have to be in really close proximity of that person instead of sending soldiers to deal with such a disease over there in Africa, the CDC should be dealing with that. Soldiers are not trained to deal with a virus, all right? But yet, soldiers are sent to places to collect certain viruses, so that way <clears throat> they bring it back to the military and they take that virus and turn it into a weaponized virus alright so that could be another possibility of what their intent is we don't know but yet they're willing to go ahead and arm all these fighters over there uh, in Iraq again and uh, some of the freedom fighters there in, um, uh, where the hell is that? Uh, damn, I know the name of it. Syrian area, you know, the Syrian Free Army, whatever they call themselves, Turkish units, whatever. Whoever they intend to arm and train, they're willing to do that, but they're not willing to send American soldiers to go and fight for what they claim is ours technically we got no business even going to that country um, we got no business going back to the Middle East uh, we had no business there in the first place but these are what dictators do they send troops just like during the middle medieval period they send their troops to go fight wars in foreign lands that they claim it's in the best interest of the people when it's only in the interest of those politicians but anyway that's beyond you know where I wanted to go with all this I'm more concerned about why are we sending 3,000 troops to Africa to contract a potential deadly disease 
and bring it back to the United States and then kill off hundreds of thousands of Americans for what benefit? Kill off a majority of the population in the United States? They've been talking about that for decades. All right. Anyway, I voice my opinion on this matter. Um, look up to look up uh, here on uh, the internet about how and why and what the Spanish influenza is, how it got here, why it did what it did, and how it mutated itself. They claim by birds, but like I said, they don't really know how it came. Could have came by one soldier, and all he had to do was spread it, and it became like wildfire. Unstoppable. Anyway, leave your opinions down below in the box, and uh, tell me what you think. You think this uh, president's making the right decision or a bad call? So. Until next time, it's Rod Harden. Have a good day.